Welcome to Mama Cat's Home. Today I'm going to be sharing a recipe that you can use an instant pot or any other type of electric pressure cooker, at least as far as I know, any other type of electric pressure cooker. Um, you don't have to have the instant pot brand is my point. But anyway, that or a crock pot, you can use either one of those to make this meal and I'm going to be making it in my instant pot but on the crock pot setting and the reason why I'm going to do that is because I just took my instant pot out so I'd have a choice I just took it out last night and then today I decided you know what I want to go ahead and get it going because I have time and you know that way dinner will be ready and the house will smell good all day this is also a meal in my little series for Thanksgiving type situation, but this is for after Thanksgiving. This is a way you can use some of the leftovers. Now, not everyone has ham for Thanksgiving, but a lot of people do. So that is what this is going to use, and you can use it any time of the year. You could, I mean, you could cook this any time of the year. This is just something I thought, you know, let's just. Do something to use up a little bit of that leftover ham or maybe that ham bone you have in the freezer <laughs> or something like that. Um, I'm Just like all the other recipes I have done this month, this is going to be the last one for this series or whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm not going to be, of course, using leftovers because I haven't cooked Thanksgiving yet. But I did get this ham. It was on a sale. For 582, which I will not need all of it. It's two and a half pounds. I do not need all that. But um, I don't know why it was on the clearance type situation for at Walmart because its date is a long way out. It's like that'll be gone way before then. <laughs> so um, I'm going to tell you the ingredients and then I will get on with making it. So, you need a 20 ounce pack of Hearst dry beans. I don't know if you have to have the Hearst brand, but I've never seen any other brand. But anyway, it's a 15 bean soup mix, rinsed, and you discard the spice packet. You don't want that, ever. <laughs> you just throw the trash, or I don't know. I never keep them. One onion diced. Two cloves, not gloves, two cloves of garlic minced, two bay leaves, one tablespoon of fresh thyme, or one and a half teaspoons of dried, 7.5 cups of chicken stock, homemade or store bought, which I'm going to be using a little bit more than that, but that's okay. One teaspoon of hot sauce or more to taste, and because of my husband and son, it'll be or more to taste. <laughs> and one pound of diced ham. You can use leftover or you can do, you know, whatever. And then salt and pepper to taste, but I won't put any salt and pepper in this. I'll let them do that at the table if they want it. They probably won't add any salt because, of course, the ham has salt in it, but, and the so does the chicken stock or broth whatever you want to call it I think I have stock and broth no I don't I have both broth um but uh anyways um I just won't add any of that because so many things already have the salt or two of the things have a lot of salt so this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put the camera down here I'm gonna slice up the ham I've got my uh kitchen scale here for weighing my beans and ham and things like that. What did I do? Okay, there it is. And because I do not keep the spice packets, I just always put my beans in one of these. So I'll measure those out too and pray that this is enough because I um, got some from Walmart.com because I needed some more and I couldn't find them and they haven't come yet they're supposed to come yesterday and they haven't come so let's just hope this is enough so uh, I think it is if not I'll probably go in the pantry and grab like some pinto beans or maybe some lentils or I've even got the kidney beans I've got probably every bean that's in here I probably got already 
except the yellow lentils. I don't have those. But yeah, let me move the camera and get on with this thing. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is um, get my beans, and I need 20 ounces. Hopefully, I have enough. So, this may be a little bit loud, so I hope it's not. I can turn the volume down if it is. Okay, so it's a little bit much, so I needed a pound and four ounces, and I've got a little bit more than that, and my hands are clean. You know what? Since I have the extra broth, I'm going to go ahead and just put them all in, because <laughs> it's only like two ounces, 2.8 ounces more. It's fine. <laughs> I'm just gonna let it be and then um whenever it comes time to eat nobody will know all right I've got my colander over here so I can wash these okay so the beauty of this meal is you don't even have to soak your beans you can just let them be like they are okay I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put my pot on here and I'm gonna tear it okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of this ham that I have here well it's got this little paper stuff on it to keep it fresher I guess I don't know really what that's for but I'm gonna take part of it and just cut it off I know that's not what I need. I know I need more than that. But if I cut it off into sections like this, it will be easier for me to handle. At least that is my thought process on the whole situation. Ooh, I almost knocked down my measuring spoon. So let's, oh my, what, my scale went off. Okay. I'm gonna check and see if this is a pound. Almost, I have 12.7 ounces. This is the weirdest way I'm cutting this, but I'm trying not to make a mess. All right, there's 12.7, no 12.8 actually. 15.8, oh my goodness, really? Exactly a pound and an ounce, or a tenth, almost an ounce. No, one point, it's one pound and point one ounce. I don't know how to do that stuff. I'm gonna put this away because I don't like having meat sitting out. So I'm gonna put it in a bowl. What I'm gonna do, now that I have that weighed, is I'm gonna put my pot See if you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna put my pot back in there and I'm gonna move my scale because I don't think I need it anymore. And then I'm just gonna start cutting up my ham. I'm not gonna, this is kind of thin, this piece. So I'm gonna kind of leave it like that for just this piece. But the other ones, the other pieces right there, the thicker ones, I'm going to cut them into little bite-sized chunks, which is what I should have done in the beginning, but, you know, I didn't. I honestly have never used this type of ham before. I usually use, like, either a ham steak or I use, um, I have gotten some of the already chopped up into little cubes. I've got some of that ham before. I have used um, 
I feel like some of that's going to be too big. I've used like just leftover ham. Some of these just feel like they're just too big. I mean, you need a little ham in every bite, right? I don't know. But I have made this recipe, I don't know how many times, a bunch of times. I have done it in the Instant Pot. I have done it in the regular crock pot. I've done it in the Instant Pot crock pot setting. I've done it in my Kasori. The first time I did it, I don't think I even had an Instant Pot. I did it in the crock pot because I was trying to find a an, uh, a is it an a I don't know I was trying to find a 15 bean soup recipe because Jeff loved 15 bean soup but I hated that packet and uh, well he didn't love it he liked it he loves beans but anyway he liked it but I was trying to find a healthier or healthier alternative and he said sometimes it just didn't seem like it had enough flavor and I said you know I can just come up with something and I thought about doing that because I've done that a lot of times that's how I came up with my um, recipe for pinto beans black eyed peas things like that I just decided okay well we like this this and this in it so let's try this recipe let's see what I can do and um, I threw stuff in the pot wrote it down as I went and found the way that we liked it. I changed it up every time until we got it to the flavor we really liked. So that's how we did that. Now, the 15 bean soup, I don't love it. In fact, Selena and I will not be eating this tonight and I'm not gonna lie and tell you we are because we don't love it. We don't like it really, I mean, can't say I don't like it. I will eat it, but it's not a favorite. So I'm going to be eating something with her tonight that's different. I'm going to go ahead now and put my beans in. And then I'm going to scoot this over so y'all can see a little bit better. You're going to have to ignore my um, Instant Pot though because I just noticed there's stuff in the little dusty things in there. I'll show y'all what's in in a minute and I usually don't have it there we go we'll turn it that way so I'm not organized today can you tell can you tell I thought I was all right I've already cut up my onion at the first of the week when I pre prepped my um meals and I got everything ready I went ahead and cut up my onion so what you're supposed to use is one onion diced well i'm going to use what i would think would be an onion and i've already got it diced and we're just going to put that much in here and then of course whatever i have left over see i already sliced some for the week and then that which the week's almost over but we'll, we can use this next week too and if we don't use it um before a few days I can always freeze it. Okay, so one onion, two cloves of garlic, which to me is going to be two tablespoons of, or two heaping tablespoons of this, I'm not going to heap that one as much, of this minced garlic, <laughs> because why not? I am putting everything back today, and I don't normally do that with you guys. But I don't know. I'm doing it today, I guess. Okay. So, two bay leaves. I don't know why I was opening that already. And remember, I'm going to tell you this now so I don't forget. Oh, I just broke that one. Okay. Whenever you go to serve this, make sure you take the bay leaves out. Because if someone tries to eat it, they will have a tough time. And I do mean a tough time because those things are tough. Okay, so since I'm using the dried um, thyme, and look at that, 
I finally did find some more, but look at how messy that is. That's okay, though. It's just the outside. But I'm, since I'm using the dried, I have to use one and a half teaspoons. And I'm using this half teaspoon measure, so I'm just going to put three of those in. But, like, it was for real a tough time. <laughs> That's so dumb. Okay, I need to stop saying that, too. So I'm going to go ahead and put in this whole four cup of chicken broth. This is the Members Mark, the Sam's brand. Let's get all that in there. And then I'm going to open this up and put in both of these cans. So like I said, I'm putting a little bit more than I am. I'm putting 62 ounces in instead of the seven cups. It's just a little bit more. It's almost eight cups. I mean, it's barely below eight cups. But I got this new can opener the other day because one that I had was messing up. Not my electric one, but my hand one. So I got this one. It's made in the USA, and I really like that one. All right, so that is that. And then the last thing I need to put in is a teaspoon or more of hot sauce and you see I took the top off I didn't just do the little toppy the little let's squirt a little in there kind of deal which I guess see I didn't do the that little deal which why does that get dried on there it's so gross to me um but anyway I always peel it off okay I didn't use that because I ain't got time for that I I'm not so <laughs> I'm going to put in here two tablespoons of this. And the reason why I'm putting two tablespoons in here is because I know my family. I know my husband and son. And I know they love it. And they always add extra. So why not go ahead and put it in there? It's hot sauce. It's not going to hurt them. And this is their favorite, Texas Pete. I don't know why it's their favorite. It just is. So... If you were going to use this for Instant Pot uh, or some kind of, uh, what do you call those things, pressure cooker, you would, at this point, put it in there and, uh, let's see, where's it at? Oh, it's on the back. You would... Cook on high manual pressure for 40 minutes with natural pressure release. Do not use quick release valve, but let the pressure indicator lower on its own. And that is how you do for that. For slow cooker, you just put your top on there and you let it cook for six hours on high. So what I will do, or until beans are tender, Okay, for the slow cooker, you press slow cook, let it cook for six hours, but of course, you put a top on it. This is the top that came with my kasori, but I'm gonna put it on here. Okay, I know you're cooking. Do your thing. But I'm gonna show you what it looks like inside. And then, when I come back, I wash the lid because it had dust on it. Whenever I come back, It'll be done. And I'm sorry today. I was not very prepared and I was wacky. But I didn't sleep much. I haven't slept much lately since the time changed. And this is like the first week after. So this isn't when you're going to see this. You're going to see this like two weeks after or three weeks after. I don't know anymore. I only slept four hours. No, three and a half. I don't know. I'll see you all in a second. <laughs> Okay, so this is the ham and 15 bean soup. I need to get these um, bay leaves out. I got one whole one and then one that broke. I think that's the broken one. Remember to take those out because you don't want to eat them. They're not going to hurt you to eat them, but you might be chewing on them for about a week because <laughs> they're so tough. But anyway, this is after it's done, and that is all there is to it to make it. It's very simple, 
and it smells really good. We did speed it up a little bit and put it on, um, we pressure cooked it. I got my other lid out for my instant pot and I pressure cooked it the rest of the way on high for eight minutes. I just did it for eight minutes instead of the, I think it was 40 is what it said. But I'll have the link to the whole recipe. Oh, it's all fogged up. I'm trying to get this leaf out. Hold on, let me unfog y'all. Anyway, I will have the link to the whole recipe in the description below. I guess I'm going to have to just tell them to make sure they look for that other piece of leaf because I don't see it. Oh, wait, was that it? Nope. Alright, so that is all I have for today. Let me just turn it around and quit fogging it up because it won't fog that way. That's all I have for today. Um, if you want the recipe, it will be down in the description. I got it from a pinch of healthy. I forgot to tell you all that. But that's where I got it from, a pinch of healthy.com. And yeah, it's real simple to make though. And very few ingredients, but it tastes really good. I mean, it's not one of my favorites, but I would eat it if I had to. But I don't want to tonight. But anyway, that is all I have for today. If you like my channel, go ahead and subscribe. And hit the bell so you'll be notified when I upload. Also, leave me a comment down below. Have you ever tried 15 bean soup or ham and 15 bean soup or ham and bean soup or whatever kind of soup like that? Um... Do you have a special recipe that you like to make it? And I guess that's all. Like this video, share it with your friends. And remember, don't take any wooden nickels and be sweet.